G'day mate, welcome to day three. Uh, here we are going to our first destination of the day. Sorry, it's hot, they just covered my face there. First destination of the day, uh, we're on the Manly Ferry right now. Or should I say, we're on the Manly Ferry right now. Uh, and that's nothing to do with being a man. Uh, we're going to Manly Beach, uh, where I'm hoping we can get a bus to Palm Beach. Uh, one of my holy grail moments here on the trip, heading off to the fictional town of Summer Bay, uh, actually known as Palm Beach. It's just not actually very easy to get to. We have to, uh, I think, get on a public bus for over an hour to get there. Uh, there's also a cool lighthouse which we want to get up to. Um, so hopefully we can make all of this happen and then later on once to try and get to Bondi Beach as well so it's an action packed day. Uh, I don't know how long it takes to get to Manly on the ferry. We shall see. Fortunately it's not too sunny right now because if we're gonna be sat on a bus for a while I would uh, wouldn't mind a bit of overcastness like we have but it's still pretty warm, I can't complain. So shorts and t-shirt weather. Uh, rather tired this morning. Difficult to to sleep well because there's a lot of traffic noise and things but I mean it's fine I'm so tired I think it's more the fact that I had to wake up I could have probably slept for about a week but I'm excited for the day ahead um, you know getting closer each day to actually seeing the set of Home and Away Well, we're off the bus. We were on the bus for about an hour, 20 minutes. There was 82 stops, um, but we are finally in Summer Bay. Well, ish, we're at Palm Beach. We're about to head up to the lighthouse, Owen and I, to Barrenjoy Lighthouse, which is an iconic lighthouse uh, in Home and Away. Always in the, the opening credits, and uh, you often get a shot from there, at least one per episode. Nice scenic shot. Uh, Mum and Maria have gone down to the beach, straight to the beach, they're not coming up to the lighthouse because uh, there's a bit of a trek. Uh, but I'm hoping to get up to the lighthouse, uh, get a, a lovely view of Summer Bay from above and then actually head down to the beach. So this is good times. Uh, the bus was actually all right. The, kind of, the journey flew by, a lot of nice beaches and uh, nice scenery along the way. It wasn't overcrowded, there was air conditioning. so. A uh, bit of a shock to the system when we just got off the bus and stepped out into the, the baking heat once more. Uh, but we are en route to the lighthouse, so hopefully uh, the next video will be a stunning view. Well, I thought the next video was going to be me up at the light lighthouse. I saw a building, the back of a building, said to Owen, just let me nip up there and have a look. And this is what I found. I am here at the surf club. Sadly, it's not open. It's not filming, not in business. Uh, but this is Summer Bay Surf Club. There's salt. This is great. I've seen so many scenes filmed here. Now I'm stood here. Oh, look at that. Oh, Stuart, he's the club patron. You know we belong together. You and I forever and ever. No matter where you are, you're my guiding star. so Owen can uh, set up his camera, do some sort of fancy pants shot. And uh, I'm just soaking up the sights, Summer Bay. The home of a show that I've watched my entire life. I mean, I'm having a great time in Australia. 
have done some great things already and going to be doing a lot of great things but I had two reasons to come and this is one of them and the other one is in Melbourne and I'm doing it on the final day of the trip and that's uh, go to Erinsborough of course but yeah this is this is nice it's a really nice breeze so it's roasting hot but I'm enjoying the breeze and uh, just, just just taking it all in so here we go Palm Beach but for those that care Summer Bay ah, we uh, just made a quick toilet stop and I turned and what do I see? I see the diner I see Alf's bait shop I see the flat uh, which is how it's many an occupant in Summer Bay over the years this is the car park, which is always uh, the car park in any car park related scene. Uh, yeah, this is great. I'm going to get a closer look. It turns out the bait shop actually smells like a bait shop. Oh, it's so hot in the sun right now. On this side, there is no wind. Complete sun trap. It's the, the Bayside Diner, which seems to be an actual active diner when it isn't being filmed uh, for Home and Away. I'm now stood right outside the diner. to say just enjoy the views people As I am facing the walk to the lighthouse alone Owen said he didn't fancy the walk in the heat he's gone off to take some pictures so it's just me my camera and a sandy path and the other people I may encounter on the path such as those people in front of me and the people just behind me. <sighs> At least this bit's in the shade. So hot. When we, on the first side where we arrived, there's a lovely sea breeze, but then this is on the other side of the peninsula and it's just a sun trap, so these trees I'm thankful for right now. I've got my options and I am gonna go this way. So, 10 minutes, but it's a lot of steps. Getting my steps up quite literally today. Oh. I may well regret this later. I'm sure I'll enjoy the view. There's a lovely breeze here. So I'm just ambling slowly, airing my pits as much as I can. And it's a beautiful, it's a beautiful place to go for a walk if you're going to go for a walk. And I'm sure I'm going to enjoy that view from the top. That's that ant. Oh, it's just gone out of shot, but that was massive. Here we go people, that's the lighthouse and this is the view I came to see, that shot down of Summer Bay Beach, that's the peninsula, that's the money shot right there and I am definitely enjoying the breeze that I'm feeling right now, that was definitely wor worth a little walk up the steps there, superb. So that's what Summer Bay looks like. Let's 
see what else is around the lighthouse. You can walk right to the end over there. I'm not going to be doing that. It's very hot, especially when I've walked out of the breeze now. Look at that view. There we go. I've been to the lighthouse. I've seen that wonderful, stunning view. And now I'm gonna walk back down the other path, the less steppy path, the smoother path, the slightly longer path, but I just wanna see the different views, really. You can see there the, um, the set. Our space shop in the diner. Not sure if you can see on the camera, you can still see the surf club. Just stunning views, whichever way you turn. Whether you're a fan of, of Home and Away or not, you should just come here because it's incredible. Well, I'm back down and it's still scotcho scotcho. I can see Owen over by the rocks doing some picturey type things. I'm gonna go over there, see him, and we'll probably go over and I meet up with my mom and Maria and see what we're gonna do next. But just to be here, uh, I think it probably made it clear how excited I am. Uh, I'm still just soaking it all in. What a glorious, glorious day to be here. It's a good job this isn't smell o vision because I probably stink a bit right now. Uh, it was very sweaty, but definitely worth it. So a lot of crazy bugs up there. Um, can't really explain what they all are. And I think I can see a jellyfish. I'm gonna get a little shot of that now. So there we go. Let's see what happens next. But ah, this is summer day. Oh, there's jellyfish. Owen just gave me great news. He said they're filming on the other beach. Let's go and investigate. See if we can uh, see what's going on. Let's hope this is not a fake news situation. Right down on the water's edge. in the breeze right now. Oh, it's coming to get me. Well, I just stopped to clear some sand out of my shoes. There was a lot of sand in there and I think there's now going to be sand in my shoes forever. Uh, on this side of the beach, I've walked up a bit. It doesn't seem like there's gonna be any filming going on. Uh, so I think it was a fake news situation. Just gotta find uh, where Mum and Maria are. Uh, and then who knows? Maybe there is something going on, but at this point I'm thinking probably fake news. I think this is what my mum was referring to. Sadly, we did see this before. This is not home and away. This is some sort of photo shoot taking place. Which is probably, it's kind of what I thought that you'd probably seen. Oh well. Still great to be here. Huh? Seems there is actual filming going on. Exciting times. Security are clearing a bit of the beach. So, Al Stewart is just behind there. Marilyn's been uh, around as well. Can't get any closer than this because of security. But it's pretty cool to be here while I'm filming.
have started walking, so I'm sure they're just extras in the background. And there's a scene over there with Alf. Can't see who else. But Alf is quite distinctive. got to meet some of the cast and the bus hasn't gone yet so I may be able to catch up with Owen and not be lost in Australia which is possibly what would have happened otherwise uh, I'll put some pictures in this video so you can see but I did get to meet Justin and I did get to meet um, Rafi and John Palmer John Palmer is one of the best characters these days uh, and then I'd left the crowds because that's where people were and then uh, I saw Mason from the show just chilling out, talking to one of the crew. Uh, I managed to stop and get a picture with him as well and have a nice chat with him. So th that's cool. Four cast members, four cast members had <laughs> done. Uh, so well, I, can't, I can't say anything else. What a day. Been here, seen the bay, up to the lighthouse, met some of the cast, saw some of the filming. It, it's, uh, it's the ultimate home and away experience. So hopefully I can catch up with Owen and get on this bus otherwise I'm probably going to get lost. Uh, bye for now. So this is a fast ferry. How long does it take? Faster than the normal ferry. Dark, but hey, Bondi Beach is Bondi Beach. Whether it's daytime or nighttime, we can still say, been to Bondi Beach. Ladies and gentlemen, I give to you Bondi Beach. And I am here, and I am guaranteed to not get sunburned whilst on Bondi Beach because we've come at night. Yes, it's been a long day. It's been a great day. You know, the home and away experience uh, was was really good, you know. It's one of the reasons I came out here. And 
it went as as I had hoped, but Mum had said yesterday that she'd actually quite like to come to Bondi Beach. So although we couldn't get her here in the daylight, you know, we've come to Bondi Beach. She can say I've been to Bondi Beach and I didn't get sunburned. Apparently, uh, that pavilion there, the government has given 70 million Aussie dollars to uh, renovate it. So that's the last time that we would see it like that because next month it's all going and it's all being completely reconstructed. Lovely bright moons tonight. And this is a nice way to cap off the day. We've been to Palm Beach in the baking hot sun and now we are looking at those surfing waves at Bondi Beach. There's a lot of sand in my shoes. I am not a lover of sand, got to be honest with you. It gets in all the wrong places and it stays there uh, far beyond uh, what seems like an agreeable time to stay there. Uh, I can feel it all building up in my shoes right now. But anyway, Bondi Beach, and uh, what a day it's been. <laughs> Uh, I avoided it. <laughs> uh, this, is, this is how you end the day. Some traditional fish and chips. Except it's not fish, it's a sausage. But you get the idea. I am excited for this. Let's a quick look at this building here. This is the, the QVC Centre. Not the shopping channel. Uh, but the Queen Victoria Centre, I believe. Basically just a shopping centre. It looks like it's out of sort of Victorian London, I guess. Nice clock up there. Yeah, nice building. And thus concludes day three. It's been a good one, it's been a hot one, it's been a long one, but I think you've seen from the video, if you've watched everything today, that I'm a very happy Ian, seeing Summer Bay, meeting some of the cast of Home and Away, you know, that's what I came here for, and that's what I've achieved, so I'm very happy, and uh, yeah, it was nice to finish to see Bondi Beach, I've been to Bondi Beach, even though it was in the dark. Tomorrow is a travel day. So probably not a lot of uh, entertaining viewing, but we'll see, you never know what the future will bring. Uh, I know what the present will bring, me stuck up awake because my room happens to be the main living room because I'm just sleeping on the sofa bed and until everyone else wants to go to bed, I can't go to bed. Uh, so that's my life right now, but who cares because I have had a wonderful day. So that's episode three in the can. I look forward to episode four, whatever that may bring. See you soon.